Hey folks, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Last time we had a fairly standard episode exploring around the map and doing commissions and whatnot. And now at uh, 2 p.m., we have a meeting. One small step for Sandrock. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. Where is this? What happened to our meeting with Katori, the investors meeting? She was here a moment ago. Is she in the game center or the museum? Good. Okay. Welcome everyone. It seems we're all here. So let's begin. So who's attending? Cooper Chi, Owen, me, Hugo, Jasmine, and Mian. Does Jasmine have money to invest? I guess she's got her piggy bank. First of all, welcome. You may all know me as Katori, the lady who purchased up the Golden Goose just after the peak of its success. <laughs> but today, with just 15 minutes of your time, I will present to you an idea that could change your life. Behold! Katori World! A vast and unabridged cavalcade of merriment and amusement! An unparalleled brand of entertainment! As we all know, Sandrock was once a beacon of prosperity in the ocean of a desert that is the Ufala. Of course, at that time, we were in the rather favorable position of middlemen, so to speak. Tens of thousands of people would transfer through Sandrock, and the Golden Goose was a favorite stop along the way for young and old. These days, however, well, I don't think it would be an understatement to say that this town could do with some revitalization. And so, enter Katori World to chase the clouds away and bring prosperity to Sandrock once more. How will I do it, you might ask? I will carry out the construction of a multi-dimensional, sensational, and all-around recreational set of entertainment facilities, including, but not limited to, a new and improved game center, larger museum, and one day, a theme park. Before long, tourists will once again flock to Sandrock to view and partake of the exuberance that is the largest and most beautiful spot for entertainment in the free cities, Katori World. Uh, I was focused on the subtitles and didn't notice that she had a PowerPoint presentation going on here. <laughs> Help make my dream, our dream, come true. Help make Katori World a reality. Any questions? Do I have any questions for Katori? All right. What do I need to do? Both you and Mian can invest through labor, provide construction services for my amusement and other facilities for the park. Then I grant you a larger percentage of the profits. Builder work is essential to make this all happen. Hmm. Could I lose money? Uh, well, technically, yes. It is possible you could lose money, in the sense that anything is technically possible. So there may exist a universe where you did lose money, but Katori World! <laughs> Tell you guys what. If the first round of monthly dividends are not to your liking, if you're still not confident in the project, you can have all your money back. Guaranteed! That sounds pretty good. Your idea depends upon Sandrock attracting tourism. Shouldn't we build our town up first? Yes, yes. Sandrock has its fair share of issues. The water thing, the bandit thing, the other things. But look, when I first got here, I was taken in by the scenery. I was captivated. We just need to get people out here and they'll feel the same way. I mean, I don't think you're wrong, but how do we get them out here in the first place? I mean, I guess it's possible. Yeah, of course it's possible. And yeah, you're right to have doubts. Nothing's ever a sure thing. Okay. Uh, I've heard enough. I'm in. Wonderful. That is great to hear. With such an esteemed builder backing the project, I think it's hard not to have faith. Questions? Anyone else? Hmm. Wow. It all does sound like a lot of fun, but... Well, 
I've been spending all my spare time at the moisture farm since we made that big discovery. I don't know if I can commit to something so big. But don't worry, you've already got the best. Ooh, I think a shiver just went down uh, Max's spine when he heard Mion refer to him as the best. And maybe a little something else pepped up too. <laughs> I think he really likes it when she praises him. Uh, of course, of course. Can't have a foot in two boats. I wish you well on your endeavors. Uh, what about you, Mr. Owen? Thoughts? Questions? Concerns? Uh, aside from us, I believe Owen is the wealthiest man in Sandrock, so she definitely wants him on board. I'm curious to see how he responds. Hmm, this plan, it's a pie in the sky, but as long as it might help Sandrock, I'm interested. And we'll be happy to get involved with the startup process. Uh, we can talk more once we really start seeing more tourists in town. <coughs> Mr. Owen, thank you very much! I can't say that I'm particularly impressed by your key performance indicators. Furthermore, I don't think there's much room for your market to scale up, given the potential demographics you have access to. For that reason, I'm out. Well, this ain't exactly rocket science, good doctor. <clears throat> director. Yes, Director. Well, there's also no reason we couldn't work in some kind of spaceship simulator? A replica of a launch center. Some other space... Thingy? She is a good businesswoman. She knows her demographic, her market for investors. It appears I've sorely miscalculated the potential of this venture. <laughs> you will have my aid. <laughs> He's so simple. to reconsider, Director. Uh, now, forgive me, as I have not been paying much attention for the last 15 minutes or so. Mind was elsewhere. But I do believe I have the gist of it. And for that reason, I'm in. Elsie will appreciate this sort of rigmarole. Well, your daughter certainly will, but I don't know if I want to work with Cooper. I mean, he's so long-winded and ornery. Speaking of rigmarole, that reminds me how she needs to stop all the tomfoolery, sending in for rigmarole, and start learning how to be a proper lady. Y'all wouldn't believe how many times I've told her. Uh, yes, yes, Cooper. Thank you for your interest. Perhaps we'd best move on, for time's sake. Are you having fun, Jasmine? Kinda surprised you wanted me to take you to this, but, uh, well... Do you understand everything Miss Katori is saying? Of course, Uncle Hugo. I've read all about stuff like this. Katori is asking for angel investors, people who are willing to back her idea in exchange for a piece of the company. If Aunt Katori does really well, we might get back 10 times what we invest. Here, I brought five goals. I want to invest in Katori World. 10 to one, huh? Maybe I'll throw in some scratch too then. Yes. Well, it's like they say, one can always depend on the heart of a child to make sound <laughs> business decisions. It means so much to have everyone's support, and this is definitely a more the merrier type situation. Well, I think we've heard from everyone. Here seems like as good a place as any to end it. Thank you all for coming. Here's to our success! Here's to Katori World! Builder. Once again, thank you for your support. As a matter of fact, I've got something for you already. Game Center Renovations. A new sign, a new game, more floor space, the whole nine yards. The expansion will just be gathering materials, but you know how it is. Heidi doesn't cut corners. She'll need stuff only experienced divers like you could track down. Once we've got the materials, she'll handle the rest leaving the sign and new game machine. The new sign shouldn't be too much trouble, but this new game machine I got the diagram for, I'm no expert, but it looks like it's got some bells and whistles on it. But hey, nothing you can't handle, eh? No problem at all. That's what I like to hear. It's like Musa says in his 12 steps to success. You can only win if you believe you can win. All right, here are the diagrams. My hopes are that by expediting phase one, we'll garner some attention that'll lead to some profit for all of us right away. Once things take off, I can pay you double for this job. Er, probably. When you've got the materials, give them to me. I'll get Heidi to handle the expansion. When she's done, just install the sign and the machine. Thanks again for believing in me, Builder. I won't let you down. 
Okay, opportunities abound. Let's take a look. Uh, we got to get over to Unsure's house by 7 p.m. Apparently this is tonight. I thought this moved to, to tomorrow. No, okay. Nope, we're good. Okay. Uh, so the opportunities abound. What do we need here? We have to collect materials. We're going to need some more iron plates. We've got the tempered glass. We've got the plastic pipe. We're going to need more hardwood planks, a game center sign, and a punchotron. Okay. Well, I think since we have until 7 p.m., we should definitely go get this stuff built like right now. The sooner we can uh, finish the work, the sooner we can... <laughs> this is a very interesting angle. The sooner we get the, uh, the materials done, the sooner we get our return on our investment, right? Uh, we've already done, I think, four requests today. Um, and we use some of our stamina, so yeah, we're uh, we're basically on side quest until the end of the day. Uh, we have a little bit of stamina left. We can smash some rocks or something if we need to. But let's start by getting to work on the things we need. So we need some petrified wooden sticks. I'm gonna go ahead and make nine, so we have three left over. Uh, what else do we need? Hardwood planks. Let's see. We're going to need 20. We have 13. Um, so out of these 15, 7 go in. That leaves us with 8. That's perfect. Okay. So obviously we're going to need to wait 12 hours for those to be finished. Uh, we can build the Punchotron right now, however. Uh, we're also going to need some iron plates. I'm not sure if those are made at the processor or the grinder. I think it's the processor. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, these petrified wooden sticks will be done first. Let's queue up some iron plates after that. And that means we're going to need more iron. Or more steel, rather. Let's top this up as best we can. And then these bronze bars can... How are we doing for bronze? 85? We can cancel the rest of these. And we can get started on the tempered glass we need. Okay, uh, so right now, we can't build, we don't have the materials, we can't build the game center sign, but we can, I think, build the Punchotron. Lucky, Lickety, I know you're trying to be helpful, but why don't you go back to the stable for a minute. Alright, Punchotron game. We're gonna need copper plates, plastic pipes, steel bars, rubber shell, and microchips. I think we have this. Let's get this assembled. There we go. Punchotron is complete. Um, let's go ahead and figure out if there's anything else we can be making here. We're set there. Uh, what else? We do have the tailoring machine. I don't think we need anything from there. Although we could, we could make some stuff, some materials for future use perhaps. We're low on wool cloth and tanned leather. What do we want most here? We can make the wool cloth, and we can make some tanned leather. Let's get those queued up. Oh, this this one's not upgraded. The tailoring machine is only level one. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to upgrade this for a bit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, at the grinder, let's see, we've got, we need five for the mission, we have 33. So I think we'll just look at what else we could make that we might need. Rubber rings, cast iron pipes, and metal hinges are all at 8. Copper pipes at 8. Let's start at the bottom of the list. We'll make 4 more metal hinges. And then after that, we'll make 4 more cast iron pipes. And we definitely need more steel bars. I think I'm going to cancel... No, we need, we need everything. We need the tempered glass. Alright, we're going to leave all these machines running. Let's go ahead and clear out our inventory. Looks good. Uh, we have the Punchotron. We'll store this for now. And, yeah. That's kind of all we can do for today. We have a meal at 1500, the Rager at Unsure's. 
So that's coming up very soon. Uh, we do have a little bit of stamina left, so what can we do? It's kind of too late to ride anywhere kind of far. Because uh, we only got an hour and a half until we have to be at Unsure's place. So why don't we just go smash some rocks? That's usually productive one way or another. Or maybe, you know what? We probably need some hardwood. It's been a minute. And we've got our new axe to play with, so... Let's just chop some hardwood. Okay. We'll do this for a little bit, and then we'll head over to Unsure's Rager. And that'll be the end of the day. After that, we'll go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll grab that rubber, too. Rubber's always good to get. Oh, it's a little bit further away than I thought. Yeah, 7 p.m. is 1900. So, it's 1600. It's three hours from now. Hey! So we're actually going to run out of stamina before we run out of time. <laughs> Not what I was thinking would happen, but we can just take a couple quick rides on the, uh, the Yakmel, uh, the Yakmel station and make our way to 1900. One other thing I can do back home is check on my plants. I think something was close to... That's all our stamina for the day. I think something was close to being done. We can check real quick. And then if we have to, we'll take a couple quick rides to advance the time to 1900 and go to this last event of the day. Those aren't ready to harvest. Neither are these. Okay, nothing's ready to harvest. Now we do have, I believe, we have some bio crust. So technically, I could make a couple more plots here and plant some more stuff. Um, yeah, I could switch to bio crust. But I, I don't know if we want to do that. I don't know what the bio crust is for. So let's leave that alone for now. We'll put away the things we just harvested and then we'll take a couple quick rides. Looks like I could also make some water at the table. Uh, where's water? There. And you know what else? Uh, we don't have... We used up all our fireworks. What do those count as? Are those furniture? No. They're materials, right? Yeah. So we have 10 fire... We have 10 purple fireworks. Let's make 10 blue. And then 10 green. And then 10 red. So we got red, green, blue, and purple. Wasn't there yellow as well somewhere? I thought there was. Hmm. No? Okay. Uh, so I hope that we don't have to have those in our inventory to use them on a date when we eventually, next time we get a chance to do that. Let's put them away for now. Uh, one, two, three. Where's the purple ones? Those are rooster rockets. I don't know what to do with it. Should I be selling these or what? I guess they're like technically ranged weapons, I think. There we go. All right, so all the fireworks are together now, along with our Civil Corps outfit. Uh, we're two hours away from dinner. I had a momentary thought about something I could do, but it's gone now. My head is just empty. Oh, we've got more refined stone here. You know what I should do? I should keep these to try feeding the uh, the meerkat if we can find him. Uh, yeah, I think we're done here. So let's take a quick ride or two to advance the time. And then we'll go to dinner. 
Oh, there's something over at the Civil Corps. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go see what this event is. This is Avalanche. All right. Let's go find out what that is. Is there anything I need to buy? I'm not sure if I bought water today. We're kind of okay on that for the time being. I'd love to find the meerkat, but I don't know where he is. I'm sure we're going to see you shortly. Hmm. What am I doing here? I have my ad. Let's give Banjo a treat. What is he like? Do we know? Banjo. Banjo. He likes lungfish, but I don't have that. We'll chat with him. And in terms of a gift, I could try rib meat. I don't know if we've given that to him before. I think we probably have, and it didn't go over very well. I could give him a dried sandicuda. That's fish. Or a salted fish. He might like one of these two. Let me try giving him a salted fish. Plus two. He's not a huge fan. Okay. We got macchiato over here. Do you like salted fish? Plus eight. Okay, so Maki Macchiato seems to like fish better than Banjo. I'm not sure what Banjo likes. Hmm. Let's take a quick trip over to Waterworld. Oh, here's Nemo. I'm pretty sure he likes rib meat, but we give it to him a lot, so this might not be that good. Plus eight. Okay, Nemo became my buddy. I'll take that. Hello, Miguel, you fascist thug. I hope you leave town forever. Um, let's get some water. Let's see. We now have access to these black saxel trees. So I guess we could use our bio crust and plant some of these to harvest whatever they give us. I'm guessing they just give you wood. But if they give you something else, it might be worth planting one just to see. Do I have any of these? I don't think I do. It might be worth planting one of these just to see what it does. And that would be a good way to spend this last hour, I guess. Yeah, all right, we'll try this. We'll see if there's some space in the yard for this. There's Elsie. We haven't chatted with her in a while. She's a good buddy. Last night I had a dream about riding on a yak mail, and it jumped me straight up to the moon. Then we kept riding around till I woke up. Hey, what's that look for? I reckon it could happen if your yak mail was fast enough. I don't know about that, Elsie. Uh, Coco seems to be having some problems. All right, she likes gross stuff. I think we've given her a worm. She wasn't particularly enamored of it. Um, maybe a fish? Or, I guess we could give her a gun. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. Maybe a shiny scorpion? Actually, she might really like this. Oh, what? Holy I shit, she so does. Much. Ain't this a cute little guy? Look at his little legs. Oh, it's melting my heart. I love it. Thanks, Max. I'm gonna take real good care of it. All right, plus 18. She loved the shiny scorpion. Yeah, she likes gross things and like weird, creepy things. So that was a good, that was a good uh, opportunity to give something to her. Guess I'll do that. Yeah, we're gonna go plant this uh, black saxel tree, right? Now, the question is where exactly do I set up this tree? So I've got like a little corner over here. I guess there's space right here. All right, let's do this. I do notice I have a point of knowledge. Let's spend that. Social knowledge. What do we want here? Hangout date actions. Yeah, okay. Let's get those improved. And then let's go into our farming interface and place down some bio crust. So just like we did out in the desert, we're going to make a square of four, and we're going to plant this saxel tree and see what happens when it grows and we harvest it. Uh, where's the tr where's the seed? Tomato, cactus, rose willow, wheat, sand lake, sand rice. Oh, that's interesting. It's not here. I know we bought it, right? Huh. Maybe I can't plant it here? Huh. Well, I guess I'll leave the bio crust here for now. What happens if I try to plant out here? No, I can't plant in this area. So wait a minute. I did buy it, right? Yeah, I have a black saxel seed. Grows best in spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Can grow in five days. Land use two by two. 
So why can't I plant this? I have... When I have the basic planting kit on me... What happened to my advanced planting kit? Wait, what? I had this to give away as a gift. Hold on. Uh... It's a toolbox. It's something I just have one of. Wait, I think that was it. Yeah, okay. Let me go back to Seed Town here. Let's move this out and move that there. accidentally put away the... What did I have? Bloodstone and Quartz? Let me take all of these out so that I don't auto-filter them. I want to try giving these as gifts. Now I have the intermediate planting kit on me, right? And it's basically time for dinner, but I want to, I want to know why I can't... Maybe if I have it on me? Uh, sand rice, sand leek, wheat, rose willow, cactus, tomato, mountain rose, sweet potato, desert mushroom, jute cantaloupe, rhino horn, chestnut, coffee tea, broad bean, raspberry, mysterious flower. For some reason, I could buy the seed, but I can't plant it. All right, I'm going to leave this bio crust empty for now, and we got to get over to dinner. So let's go. That's curious. I'm wondering why I can't do that. If I maybe I can only do it out in the desert, like at that one place. But that seems a bit strange. Uh, where are we going for dinner here? Is it at the is it at the blue moon? It must be at the blue moon. Uh meet your Civil Corps par pals at Unsure's house tonight. Where is Unsure's house? He lives, yeah, he lives next to, yeah, this must be it. He lives next to the Civil Corps. There might be two events going on over there. I'm not sure. But let's get over there and find out. Hey, you're here. Justice is at the dining table already. You two can talk a while. Maybe avoid the subject of soup ingredients. I may have worn him out on the topic already. Hey, glad you're here. He introduced me to his friend, Wilson. It's kind of freaking me out. I swear he's giving me the stink eye. Who's his friend, Wilson? Food's ready. Thanks, Unsure. Hey, uh, this looks really good. Is that tin ore? Is that in the food, or is that like a centerpiece? Thanks. I made it. From stuff. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Made it from the stuff. So... <laughs> uh... Let's try to be positive here. I didn't know you were a chef. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't know you could cook so well. When did you learn that? I don't know. I just read what's on the page. Huh. Yeah, I guess that is pretty simple. Yeah. Well, uh, you follow instructions well. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. Maybe the tin ore is a centerpiece and it's jutting out through the, the food? Because the rest of the food aside from that looks normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, seen any nice rocks lately? Yeah, I saw a great one the other day. Can, can I see it? It looked pretty comfortable where it was, so I left it. Look at Max just sitting at attention, completely still, not participating in the conversation. Ah. <laughs> what should I say? All right. Uh, what were you like when you were young? Ju yeah, let's engage Justice here. What were you like when you were young, Justice? Aw, oh, heck. Getting nostalgic, are we? I guess. I played around a lot. Used to follow around my old boss. Thought he was the meanest yak hand I ever seen. You used to be young, Sheriff? I'll take that as a compliment. Me and Owen used to play Sheriff in Sand Bandit. 
I guess I always had it in me, huh? Wow, Sheriff. That was a great story. Less of a story, more of a statement, but uh, <laughs> I thought you unsure. When I picture you when you were little, well, I just imagined a tiny you. Right on the money, boss. Especially when I was a baby. Real tiny. I used to collect pebbles, too. How things change, huh? Yeah, that's right. He says, I'm not a baby anymore. Um, I can see that. So... Yeah? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Shoot anything recently, sir? Well, I mean, you've been with me recently. Yeah, of course. That's right. Saw the whole thing. Uh. <clears throat> Man, these two are not good at carrying a conversation. Um, let's turn to Unsure and see if we can engage him. Did you ever meet the old sheriff, Unsure? No, I never met him. Sounds like a cool guy, though. Aw, oh, man, you don't even know. Things that guy could do. Sounds like you really respect him, boss. Respect him? I would have given my life for him. And he would have given his right back. He was always there to support us. Sounds a lot like you, Sheriff. Aw, oh, shucks, unsure. Thanks. But old B3 was still around. He'd make guys like us look like I blown rutabagas and weak old tater salad. Who the hell is B3? I don't... Are we that's a, there's a couple of times we've seen we've seen I feel like we've seen numbers where names should be and I'm wondering whether this was a mistake in the development process where they're like use B3 to refer to the sheriff until we have his name and then we'll do a search and replace or something or if was this guy's name actually B3 and then part of this dialogue apparently was not recorded I'm not quite sure what's going on with this dinner. Uh, I ever tell you about the Sandrock Hotel standoff? The Sandrock Hotel standoff? No. All right, so picture this. Guy had gone into the blue moon. This was way back, mind. Before Owen's day, it was called the Sandrock Hotel. Guy was a mean piece of work. Kind of eyes that you know were looking for trouble. Covered his face with a mask, but you can still see that scowl underneath kind of face that brought fear to the eyes of regular folk. Got a six-shooter, carrying a sack to put the goals in. He walks in and just starts blasting. Was everyone okay? Yeah, lucky no one was killed, but dang. So, he starts blasting and looks Owen's paw in the eye, says, give me all your money. Now Owen's paw was a smart man. He ain't about to throw down his life for some goals. So God leaves, heads outside and comes face to face with B3. Whoa. Whoa's right. B3's standing there, facing down this devil. Ain't a drop of fear in them eyes. B3 just says, that ain't right of you, friend. We treat each other good in this here town. And this robber just lets out this cackle, like some maniac. What happened next, boss? Well, quick as lightning, B3 shoots that there gun right out of his hand throws down his own, and tackles the guy. So is B3 a robot? Or what? Is it Was it a human named B3? I'm so confused. Uh, shoots the gun right out of his hand, throws his throws down his own, and tackles the gun. The guy. Uh, the most impressive part of that story is that he shot the gun out of his hand. That's an extremely difficult and unlikely shot. Like, an actual police officer would never do that. He would shoot center mass to kill the guy, right? Because, like, there's so many ways to miss, and you might only get one shot. Uh, so that's kind of impressive. I swear, Sheriff Zana, B3 had an eagle eye shot and ain't one for killing. Didn't want to draw no blood. And he teleports back. All right. Gets thrown in this this Unsure's Rager talk. dinner did not go through the proper QA process. Uh, so guy gets thrown in jail, locked up, and shipped off to Atara. Ain't heard from him ever again. That's really cool, boss. Yeah, I ain't seen a shot like that ever since. I wish I could have met him. Yeah, me too, buddy. I reckon he could have taught you a lot. You've taught me a lot too, Sheriff. Huh? Yeah, pretty much everything other than, like, walking, talking, a couple other things. I know I learned from you. Ah, uh, well, thank you, Unsure. I didn't know that. Well, I guess I taught you something too then, boss. Haha, <laughs> I guess you did. Ain't that something? Well, it's getting kind of late. Right. You know, I had a lot of fun tonight. That's cool. You didn't have to. Yeah, 
if I'm honest. <laughs> I was a little apprehensive. Why, boss? Well, I usually find your unique brand of weirdness to be abrasive rather than endearing. Understandable, sir. But I reckon I misjudged you. You're a good cop and a great guy, let alone chef. What do you call this here yellow soup anyhow? Yellow soup? Thank you. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, I reckon we gotta head now. I'll see you tomorrow, I'm sure. See you tomorrow, Sheriff. Bye. Hey, thanks for coming with me tonight. What do you think I got the guy all wrong? I guess you just gotta break that surface. That weird, rock-obsessed surface. Well, I'm ahead. See you later. Yeah, okay. So our primary goal there was to act as an icebreaker between the two of them because Unsure is weird and doesn't know how to hold a conversation. So we had to like draw it out of him. But I think we did that fairly well. Hey, Pen. Anyway, uh, with that taken care of, we're sort of done for the day. We have no more stamina. We've completed all the commissions we can today. We've done all the events. So there's really nothing else to do but head home and go to sleep. I guess we could check on whether or not any of our uh, materials here have finished to the point where we could build something, but I doubt it. Let's make sure you have food. Yeah, you got plenty of food. Yeah, these are gonna these are gonna take a while. So yeah, I think we'll just uh, hit the sack and get ready for the next day, right? Oh, oh, that's why. I, that's why. I, no, that is that is glistening. Is that done? Is that harvestable? It is. Okay, we got a bunch of chestnuts. All right. Still not quite sure why I can't use this bio crust to plant that tree, but maybe we'll find out about that in time. All right. I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. It's a little bit short, but I've gone over so many times that I'm just barely denting the massive amount of time debt that I've stolen from you all with my promises to make my episodes 45 minutes or less. <laughs> that so rarely happens that I think we'll just take a win uh, as we can. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for that. Hope you enjoyed this one. Lickety's having trouble. Uh, I hope you're not, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.